is your girl T back with another video. I know I haven't been here in a while, but here you go. I thought I would come with another video. I know it's kind of dark and y'all always see me in this room of mine. I come on here to just show y'all something that I want to try this morning. It's called Protein Pack by Jimmy Dean. Um, I, if, if I haven't mentioned in any of my other videos, but I'm about to mention in this video, I only eat turkey and chicken and seafood. And I try to stay away from beef and pork and lamb and gold and anything with four legs. I try to stay away from it. Now, I'll eat crabs, even though they got more than four legs, but, uh. And lobster and stuff like that. But, um, like, mammals with four legs, I try to stay away from. Um, so, um, I'm trying this this morning. It's like, I have some in the morning. I get up super early in the morning. I don't know why. I guess because I go to bed so early. But, um, uh, I'm trying this. It's something new by Jimmy Dean. It don't say new. It says ready to eat. Um, um, it's like this. It's like this. So egg, sausage, and cheese. And I love boiled eggs. And I, I love sausage. Even when I used to eat pork, I would skip bacon if you had sausage. And I love cheese. Um, it smells like cheddar. Oh, it's Monterey Jack cheese. I usually don't eat Monterey Jack cheese. I usually eat white cheddar or yellow cheddar or... But it's, it's fine. I'll eat it, even though it's probably going to be a little. Monterey Jack usually is a little too spicy for me. I don't like spicy foods. But I want to come on here and show y'all this because your girl has never ate this. Your girl don't know what to think. Um, I'm a little skeptical on about how it's going to fill me up. I got that raspberry lemonade to go wash it down. Y'all know that Simply Raspberry. If if y'all see me, majority of the time, I love my Simply Orange and my Simply Raspberry, my Simply Fruit Punch. Most people say it is more real. But after I saw that video where they were saying that Simply is not real, it's not real. It's not because you can't get for you can't get citrus all year long for it to be. It's only fresh during I guess summer months, and then the winter time is not that fresh, fresh, fresh. But they they don't learn how to master that fresh taste during the winter months. So. I get the concept of Simply, but I just really uh, wanted to come on here and show y'all this and give y'all my review on it. So, um, I'm going to let y'all know what I think about it in a second. And y'all, if y'all was to eat this, would you eat cold sausage? Because it says, do not microwave, keep refrigerated. I, I just pulled it out the refrigerator because I was hungry. I was watching B-Loves. And they were eating crabs. It made me hungry. So I thought about it. This would be... A light breakfast for somebody who 
Ooh. The sausage still tastes good, kind of cold. Mm hmm I mean, I know what a boiled egg tastes like, so I really, and then, what is that? You see that liquid? Hold up, y'all. Do you see the liquid on the egg? I have boy eggs in my refrigerator that I bought. The ready made, the already boiled eggs you can buy in the bag. It's like in the grocery store now, they're selling bags of not individual wrap like this, but they just boil eggs in a bag. Like during the holidays, like Christmas, Thanksgiving. They had to grab big bags. They might have had like 20 eggs in there or something like that. So that when you're making dressing, potato salad. um, I don't know if they're going to have them back out during Easter because you can't die for eggs. But um, they may for the people who like to make dressing and potato salad and stuff. But you know, when you eating ham... A lot of people want potato salad with their ham. So, and a lot of people want dressing. And dressing has boiled eggs. Potato salad has boiled eggs. Some people like to eat tossed salad. That needs boiled, you know. Most people want boiled eggs in there. A lot of salads have boiled eggs in Like tuna salad, chicken salad, you know. When you finish with your, um. When you finish with your, um. Your turkey or your ham, you can chop it up and make it like a, a turkey salad. When I say turkey salad, you know how you make tuna salad. You chop your turkey up like you're going to make tuna salad. And you might put a little bit of eggs in there. Or you might make, um with the ham, you might make a little, in the grocery store, it's called a devil's devil spread my mom used to take it and put it in a blender and mush it up and it'd be like a devil's spread it's called devil's spread but i know in the gut store it'd be ham or some kind of pork or something i don't know i know i would eat it it wasn't the favorite i would rather pottish meat potted potted meat than eating the devil's spread um I'm not a big ham person. I'm more of a turkey person. Even before um, I stopped eating pork and um, beef. Well, I ain't going to say I stopped eating beef. Because if I go to McDonald's or Sonic or Burger King, I'm going to want a burger. They chicken sandwiches, since I've been eating chicken like every day just about or every other day. Chicken is starting to taste fake. I mean, fake, fake, fake. This right here, I can tell that it's not completely real turkey. Because real turkey don't... It's some turkey in here. But like I said, it's not, it's not, turkey is not the first thing on the menu. Um, contains milk, egg, and soy. So it is some soy in this meat. It's not complete turkey in this meat, some soy in there. And that's why the meat turn brown that's why the meat can turn brown real turkey meat would not be brown and i will show it to y'all again that's what it looks like like a little lunchable it's like it looks like a breakfast lunchable um but y'all try it for yourself it's good to me um 
I'm skeptical about this boy egg because he still got the water still stuck in there. And I don't know, I don't know, not. I don't know, not. I might have to throw this out. Go get one out of my refrigerator. But, um, yeah, y'all. Even though the sausage is not 100% real sausage, soy protein, sugar, caramel color. So they trying to make it look like pork sausage. Um, so they put a little caramel color in it. Um, ingredients, hard boiled egg, Monterey, Monterey Jack cheese, and the sausage caramel color added. BHT, citric acid, but you're going to say turkey, fully cooked turkey sausage, and then say that it got all this coloring, and it's good, but now looking at the ingredients on it, if you're a person who don't eat soy, because, um... My dad has a soy, um, uh, um, soy, um, I ain't gonna say it's an allergy, but he just can't eat, he's not supposed to eat soy. I know he probably eats a lot of stuff that probably has soy in it, like when you go to Chinese restaurants, they may have soy in it, Chinese food, um, but he's supposed to stay away from soy. And I think his thing is soy and blueberries and balsamic vinegar. Them his three main things he has to stay away from. That he mainly has to stay away from. Blueberries are not the issue for him. It's the, the blue dye spray they put on the blueberries to keep them blue. So, I mean, me is no problem. I can eat pretty much anything that I know of right now. I think I need to go and get an allergy test done one of these days in my life. Because I said, y'all, my chest, you know, we females. And when our chest started, you know, really, really being like, it like it's itching from the inside and I can't. You know, like how children scratch and they be, they scratch so, like when they have eczema and they scratch so bad that it's like, you could tell they dig in trying to get in the inside of their skin. You know, anybody with eczema would know this. It was like, you see them digging, because my son had, you see them digging from the inside of their skin. And that's why they put my son back on the liquid each medicine and sometimes i'd be like "Ooh, i wish i could take some because my chest be like "Ooh, geez. my chest and my stomach the side of my stomach like right here and so i the only reason i'm saying something is because i hear a lot of people be talking about soy that's because people have soy allergies it's not that they're allergic to soy they just have a, a um an allergy to it meaning that it might cause them to itch it might cause them to have a rash but they don't it's like it's not gonna close up their throat they not gonna have um they not gonna have the hives and the 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 complications that come along with actually being allergic to it that mean when you say you have an allergy to it, that that is an allergy for you. That means it's like when you go outside in the pilot and the pilot make you sneeze and cough and that, that. Well, some foods and trees and grasses make some people and nuts and stuff make some people just break out. They have all these uh, eczema-like reactions to the stuff. My son. That's dogs, cats, and roaches. I live in a low income, and most people know that when you live in rental assistance or low income, um, 
They try to stretch their money to the end instead of them going to get a good company that will get rid of the bugs. They get what's what's cheaper for them and they don't get rid of the bugs. And so we spray, but all it does is make the bugs come out. They spray, they make the bugs come out when they spray. So my thing is I try not to let them spray when I'm not home and they come and spray. The bugs do come out. And so I try to keep that to a minimum. Um, so when I'm home, I don't even bother letting them spray too much. Last time I let them spray is just to see what would happen. And it, 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 it did what I thought it was going to do. And the bugs came out. Um, I know it's a little weird to be talking about bugs while you eat, but when you have a child that's allergic to that, that's the main thing you try to do. Keep your dishes washed, keep your trash dumped, keep your house clean, um, vacuum, sweep, mop. Um, make sure he's taking his his out his um. He's on clarity, and I make sure that, because that's why I said something about the food, because I know when people have an allergy to the food or allergic reaction, you have to be cautious. So just read the back of your labels, and if products say they have something that somebody in your house is allergic to or have an allergy to, then just don't buy it. I want to come on here. And talk about this product because I thought it was a neat little product. When I saw it in the grocery store, I was like, oh, I want to try this. Because I'm not the big breakfast person. I don't like to sit down with a big meal every day. Grits and eggs and bacon and that. I mean, a lot of times they weigh you over. They give you the itis and now you're ready to get back in the bed. A lot of times you can't do that. A lot of times you got to get up. Go to work, or you got to get up, take your child to school, or you got to, um, you got errands to do once you drop your child off at school, or make sure they get on the bus, or whatever you do in the morning. So I just thought this was a neat little idea that even you could take it on the go. Like while you're driving in your car, you could reach over into the little, well, this wouldn't fit in my cup holder. This wouldn't fit in a cup holder, but you could try to manage to, if you have a cup holder in between your seat, you could try to manage to get it in there some kind of way, lean it over a little bit, nothing going to drop out, don't seem like, and you know, nibble, because I, I, I mean, sometimes I'm a nibbler, like a lot of times I won't even eat breakfast. I mean, my, by the time I eat breakfast, it's basically lunchtime. So, I mean, um, I just thought it would be a good way to just get me into the habit of eating breakfast. But, y'all, they are kind of, if you don't want to have to pay 3 $4 for something, the small then I would just suggest not buying it. But I think this was three, four dollars, just like a lunchable. I think a lunchable without the drink and the cookie would cost you what, like a dollar, a dollar and some, the two dollars. But this is a little more, um, I guess, because um, it's by Jimmy Dean. Um. But yeah, um, yeah, y'all go, go get your son. They also have the ham too. So if you do, they don't have the pork sausage. They do have the ham though. They do have the ham. So for more videos like this, like, comment. And subscribe. Leave a comment on other stuff you may want me to try. If I can. If I have the funds. I will go pick it up. Try it. 
y'all, usually this would be a bowl of cereal or something or some oodles and noodles. I'm not, a, like I said, I'm not a big breakfast person. Um, but just let me know what else y'all want me to um, get my thoughts and opinion on. I'll catch y'all in another video. Peace.